Let us look at how do you find out the simplest form of a fraction. Now we all know what exactly a fraction is. So let's say for example any number which is of the form p upon q where both p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is a fraction. When I say I have to find out the simplest form of a fraction what I mean by this is that the value of p and q should be such that they cannot be divided by a common number any further. So if suppose I have 5 upon 15 as a fraction, if I divide both of them by 5, I would get 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1, 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Now when I look at 1 upon 3, they cannot be divided by any common number anymore. right? So I can say that the simplest form of the fraction 5 upon 15 is equal to 1 upon 3. Let us look at another problem. Convert 15 upon 45 into its simplest form. So you have a fraction 15 upon 45 which you need to convert into its simplest form. In order to convert this into its simplest form, we will need to divide both the numerator and the denominator by their HCF or the highest common factor. Now the HCF is actually 15 but how do I get 15 is let us see. So I would divide 15 by 3 first and I get 5 as the remainder. Now I will divide this by 5 and I get 1. Similarly if I divide 45 by 5 I would get 9. If I divide 9 by 3, I would get 3. And if I divide 3 by 3, I would get 1. Now if I look at this problem, the factors of 15 are 3 and 5, which is these two. The factors of 45 are 5, 3 and 3. To find out the HCF, we will need to see what are the common factors of 15 and 45. So the first common factor is 3 because it is appearing in both the numbers and the next one is 5. Or in other words, the HCF of 15 and 45 will be 3 times 5 or 15. Now if I divide 15 by 45 by the HCF, I would get 1 upon 3. How did I get this? I divided both 15 by 15 and 45 by 40, 15. So 15 divided by 15 gave me 1, 45 divided by 15 gave me 3. In other words, 15 upon 45 converted into its simplest form is equal to 1 upon 3.